Instagram finally unleashes photo albums. Hey guys, Sakura here. I'm super excited because I've been waiting for this feature for years for Instagram and this is probably the last major feature that I really wanted on Instagram and it's multiple posts inside one post. And now people, you don't have to worry about seeing a million pictures that people are posting from a party. You could all see it in one giant post. Right here I made this really awesome post from a photo shoot which takes you behind the scenes and then I also get to show you some actual shots from the shoot. Uh, this really works great for fashion or bloggers or video makers there's so many different ways you could use this and we're going to show you guys how to do it the first step is to create a new post. Now it's gonna look like the regular way you post Instagram photos but there's a new icon here on the bottom right. Tap that and you can select up to 10 photos and videos for your post. The order you tap your photos or videos is the order it'll appear on your slideshow. Now you can apply one filter to all the videos and pictures in your post, giving it a nice uniform feel. Now these two pictures here were already black and white, so there's not much that's gonna change on those. Now these other ones, I'm gonna use this really great Aiden filter. All right, it looks like everything is good to go, but there's still a few more steps you gotta take before you post the perfect Instagram photo album. Now you can also rearrange your pictures if you want to move them around, just tap and hold. You can drag it up to the trash can to delete or drag and move your finger over to rearrange them. Now at the end of your album slash slideshow, you can add more items because I haven't selected 10, I have five selected. So I'm just gonna pick one just so you can see, we're gonna arrange it and you're gonna hit done and it'll add it right to your post. But we're not gonna do that because that picture doesn't make sense for what we're doing. So we're pretty much all ready to go. I can take a look at my whole slideshow album and see everything that's included in my Instagram album. I could also make individual tweaks by tapping on each photo, changing the filter individually, or go through all those other image editing settings you're already used to. Now to select a cover thumbnail, you need to go to the very first image or video in your post, and that's the only way you can select a cover. Finding the perfect cover is really going to help grab people's attention, so make sure you scrub through and find the best image that will help represent your entire post. Alright, we are almost good to go. I'm going to tap on next here, and this is a screen you should already be used to. We can go in here and add our caption. We can tag each individual photo. So I'm going to go here and tag everybody that was involved in the shoot, from the artist Terrence Wild to my boy David Craig, who really did a great job helping me with this shoot. And of course, I'm going to tag myself as the photographer. If you don't know a certain person to tag, you can do the search option and just type a little bit of who they are or what you think their name is and tap search and then everything will pop up and then you can find the person you want to tag. By default, your videos will be muted, so you have to tap on the actual video and tap the speaker on top to re-enable sound. All right, we finally got it all done and ready to go. We have our caption, we're tagged, we have a location. I'm gonna enable it on Facebook and Twitter and then tap share. That's it. So here's our post, everything looks great. I have my intro video, which is gonna play through for a little bit. And you can see the dots on the bottom, which shows that there's more items here. You just simply swipe over. You can see everything is tagged properly and yeah everything looks great these instagram albums are going to become a huge trend and it's going to help clean up your feed from having someone post 20 selfies in a day that's just too much moving on to our next tip when you create an instagram album all the content inside that album needs to be a square so if you have something that's more wide you need to adjust it and frame it up properly just by dragging your finger along to make sure you get the perfect framing in your square so I'm gonna select a few of these Hawaii shots from the really epic day I had with my brother out there in Maui. And we're out here in Hana now, so I'm gonna go through and pick a few shots, find some of the best ones, and you can see here, we had a great day. This was really fun. So there's me cliff jumping. Now you can go through filters and you can see how it gives it a nice overall look and feel. But sometimes a filter doesn't match every single image and you have to individually go in and tweak them. So here I'm just going to keep it normal and just up the saturation a little bit just to make it pop. 
You want to make sure all your images are well lit or well colored and nothing's just dull and boring because you want people to go through your whole entire album. So you have to make sure your content has a nice theme overall and people are going to want to swipe through 10 images. You don't want to post a ton of different selfies from one shoot where you couldn't find which selfie was the best one. Photo albums for Instagram is a huge feature and I can't wait to dive in and get more creative with my posts. Adding hashtags really help people discover your images. You don't want to get crazy with hashtags like InstaDaily or InstaBest. Keep it related to your image. So I'm going to use Hawaii here, Iao Valley, Maui, and Paradise. Nothing too crazy and not too much because hashtags can get really annoying. Now you can add a location which really helps people discover your post as well. All right, our final big tip. Now this is for posting panoramic images or creating a really nice image spread for your Instagram album. So I'm gonna go through here and find a really great panoramic. Now I'm gonna open another app called Gritty Pro, which helps put your Instagrams in grid posts. But now you don't really have to do that anymore since you can do them in one giant album. Now on the top, I selected one row and I'm gonna crop my image to make sure it fits perfectly within the frame. And uh, you can see that I have me on one side, the mountains, and two other shots. Now Gritty Pro is going to turn my image into three seamless images. I'm going to tap save and then my camera roll will have three images that I'm going to upload into my Instagram album. Now let's jump over to Instagram and make some magic. Alright, in Instagram we can now see we have three images here. I'm going to tap on the multiple select and I'm going to tap the first image first, second and then third to make sure they're all lined up properly. As you can see here, we have a really great panoramic shot and that's pretty much it. When posting something like this, you want to make sure all the images have the same exact filter and that part's easy. Tapping on any of the filters initially will change all of them across your whole post. All right, our panoramic photo album is posted and you can see here we have mountains and everything is beautiful and seamless. It's like swiping through a giant panoramic image and it is just beautiful. This is a really great way to showcase panoramic images or if you have images with seamless backgrounds, you can get really creative with this type of post. So that's it for Instagram albums. There's so many different tips and tricks that we've got coming your way. So hit that subscribe button, watch more of our Instagram tips and tricks right here.